Hi all. Today I'm going to show you how to use YouTube as part of an assessment, a formative assessment, or just to do a check-in um, with your students. Because how many times have we assigned a video for them to watch and you really never know if they've actually watched it all the way through. So this is just a quick little way to throw together a check-in or some sort of um, little quiz for them that goes along with a video or even a picture for that matter. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your drive and you're going to create a Google form. I'm going to give it a title. This is going to be the water cycle. Okay, make sure that your title right. And then the first thing I do is I'm actually getting rid of this question. So I can add an item and we're going to click the little arrow next to the item and find video. Now I've already picked which video I'm going to use. I'm going with Bill Nye and I'm going to copy the URL right down here. Copy it. And I'm going to go back to my form and I'm just going to paste it right in there and search and there's my video. I highlight it, click select, and my video pops into my form. And I can give it a little title here, just saying, please watch Bill Nye video. And hit done. Now I can start adding my questions. Now of course in Google Forms there's all different types of questions. You can do a text, you can do a paragraph where they actually have to give you some sort of summary about the video, uh, multiple choice, check boxes if there's more than one answer. Uh, you can do on a scale of 1 to 10. So there's all different kinds of questions that you can have them answer for you. For ease of this video, I'm just going to use multiple choice questions right now. So, so my first question is going to be condensation is the opposite of, and then I'm going to put in my answers. Precipitation, osmosis, or, of course, the answer, evaporation. When I'm done, I'm going to make this a required question so they have to answer it before they go on and click done. Now I'm going to add my next item. What does condensation need to happen? And put rain. Um, Cold air. Actually, I'm going to put the answer in here. Needs a place to stick. And then I'm going to put cold air down here. And again, I'm going to make this a required question. Hit done. And then for the last one, I think I'm going to do a little text question. What happens when air expands? And then the text, actually I'll do a paragraph. They can make it a little bit longer. And they can answer their question. It's a required question and I hit done. So now I have my three questions, just a little check in to go with this short video. And I'm going to now send it to myself so you can see how it looks. So now when you actually give it to your students, my suggestion would be to give them the URL or embed it into your web page or a blog or something so that they um, go, they don't do it in their email. Because this way, if you see right here, 
I have the URL, not the actual video, and I like them to be able to see the video while they're answering the questions. So if you click here, that would be the URL that you could give them. And when it pops up, you see here's the video and here are the questions for them to answer. So for, you can see that it'll play right in the form, which I think is great. And then you can just have them answer their questions. Okay. And then submit. Now when you go back to your form and you view your responses, you can see that the answers are here. Now you can do this as an uh, anonymous where you just want to see, check for answers to see if everyone's understood it. Or you can do it where when you set up your form, you can check automatically collect respondents usernames. And then in here, you'll have the usernames next to the timestamp. So you don't have to have students um, put their name on there. You can just automatically collect it, or you could have them put their name on there if you wanted to. So you could do it either way. And then, obviously, here are your answers for that student. Now, um, if you remember, we did the uh, Google scripts where we had the Doctopus and um, Fluberoo and those would automatically check the, that these answers are correct and it would assign a grade for your students. So in conjunction with YouTube and Forms and Fluberoo, you could have an entire little quick formative assessment for your students. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you found this useful and that you can find a way to use it in class. It's really fun.